Okay, y'all, so I am at Target right now. And like I said, I came to a different Target this time. I've been seeing this everywhere and I definitely have to pick it up. It says that it has 24 hour moisture. They also have pomegranate and raspberry. Coconut water. Ooh, which one should I try? I'm gonna start with this one because I've seen a lot of people with this one. So I'm gonna start with this one and then I may try these two later on. I remember I had this and I have no clue what happened to it, but this was actually really, really good, especially for dry skin. So I would check this out, y'all. I might, should I get this? No, I'm gonna wait on it. Also been seeing this brand right here. Uh, let me know down below if y'all have tried this and what you think of this brand, but they have a bunch of different ones. Oh my goodness, y'all know I raved about this in my last haul and they actually have a sensitive care one i didn't see this in walmart i only seen this one but they do also have a restoring care a restoring care one as well i would highly recommend checking out these lotions especially this one i'm definitely getting this i'm not sure if you guys watch i think her name is mckenzie maybe i think i call her michaela in my last vlog but mckenzie she actually said that she uses this for her butt <laughs> so i'm gonna get that and we'll see how that how that goes so this one is peppermint peppermint and then they have lavender that smells really good that's the lavender one Ooh, this is the peppermint one i actually may pick this up it's only four bucks so i think i'm gonna get this i'm gonna check on the target app to see what i'll body scrubs are in because I don't see them at all. Okay, so it should be an Owl A25. A25. See, this is why I love Target because you can just go on the app, pick the store that you're in, and it'll tell you exactly where the items are. So A26, A25. Y'all know I love my body polishes. I have this one right here which is my absolute favorite one and then i also have this one right here which i actually really love i don't like it more than the rice milk one but it's it's real good but they also have the crushed almond and mango butter if y'all watched my last video i actually used the bubble bath for this and i also have the raw sugar bar and mango so i think that'll go perfect i think i may actually pick this up let's smell it though let's smell it oh my god That smells good and I'm definitely getting it. Cucumber and green tea dove body wash. Um, let me see if they got it in, oh, they have it in a single one. Let's smell this y'all. Oh, that smells good. So it's cucumber and green tea. That definitely smells good. I may get that. But I already got like five body washes. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get that this time, but I'm definitely gonna pick it up once I run out. That smells good. I've also been seeing the instant foaming body washes and I heard these are really good. They have some more method body washes at this one so I don't think they had this one at the last Target that I went to so that's definitely new. I think they had all these though. And this is mulberry, acai, and goji berry and it's so cute. The packaging is so cute. I really like that one. Ooh, should I get it? Mm. I, I think I'm gonna get it. Let's look at some of the Dove dry sprays, y'all. I have fell in love with these dry sprays. Like this one in specific, where'd it go? Y'all, y'all hear me talk about this one all the time, but this one I love, absolutely love this one. So I wanted to try out a few more. This one is Nourishing Beauty. 
this I'm definitely getting this it smells so good I think this is cucumber uh, I guess it's called cool essentials right here but that one oh my god that smells good that smells real good wow this one's okay this one's okay I'm not a, a big big fan of it though and this one is the coolest interest one the one with cucumbers in it but I'm sure this would go good with the cucumber body wash so I think I'm just gonna stick with the uh, this one right here mm -hmm. I was just down this aisle and I did not see anybody scrub, so I wonder. They are probably out of them. So they were right here and they are all out. There's a Ulta across the street, so I'm gonna run into Ulta to see what they have. Yeah, just a quick little gem. If you are looking for something in Target and you just cannot find it, just type it in in the app and it'll tell you what aisle it's at. So yeah, I don't know if I was the only one that knew that. I feel like I wanted to share it with y'all just in case y'all did not know. Ulta. let's first see if they have the tree hut scrubs because if they don't i'm gonna be disappointed they have a couple different ones too so this is the watermelon one i think someone actually recommended that i try this one so i think i'm gonna get this one i've been hearing a lot of good things about this one so it is coco colada so i got this one last time and i absolutely love it someone also recommended the vitamin c so I'm gonna get that one too. I'm gonna grab a basket because I see a few that I wanna get. I'm focused now. I don't know what was going on with my camera, but. So this one was the one that somebody recommended to me right here, watermelon. It looks really cute too. I can't open it. I'm gonna have to trust the fact that it's watermelon. It should smell good, right? I think it should be good. I don't know though, I'm open it. It's probably cause I just put lotion on my hands, but whatever, I'm gonna get this one. And then like I said, the vitamin C one was also recommended to me, this one right here. Oh, that smells so freaking good y'all. Oh my God, that smells so good. It said it reveals brighter looking skin. Yes, honey, definitely getting that. And I'm gonna see what this one, Margarita Citron. Margarita Citron, this one. The packaging is very, very cute. That smells good. I got it on my lip. Do not sleep. This is very summer. This is very summer, I would say, but it smells so good definitely getting that they also have these body butters this is the coco colada one um i wanted to find the body but oh here it is no is this no that ain't it somebody was telling me that there was a body butter in this scent the moroccan rose but i don't see that they have that someone was also telling me about the shave oil this one's the coco lime one I did not know that they had this in Ulta. I've been hearing a lot of really good stuff about this brand right here. So this one is, what is this? This is actually whipped body butter. I think they had some boob firming products or something like that. Let's see. I say eat your boob. This is the one I was talking about. This is the 
um, boob firming butter right here. I've been wanting to try this out. Let's see how much it is. $28. Clearing butt polish for a smooth, clear, and even cheese. This one's really cute too. But yeah, like look how that looks. So cute. Shea Moisture also has calming hand and body scrub. Oh, so this is Skin Renewal Recipe Body Yogurt Moisturizer. Um, if you guys watched my last um, video, my pamper routine, you guys seen that I use the hair mask for this and I love it. Oh my God, I really, really love it. I, should I get this? I don't know. I'm going to wait on that one. But in one of my next hauls, I'm definitely picking that up to try it out. This is the hemp lotion that I really, really love. They also have a body mask i did not know that they had this herbal hydrating body mask enriched with plant collagen okay they do also have a body wash i actually tried this i'm not a huge fan of it though i don't know if it's like the consistency or what it is but not a huge fan of the um body wash but i really do love the lotion y'all how cute how cute is this like little mini body scrub on the go. That's so cute. The KP Bump Eraser. This is a chemical exfoliant. It does have AHA in it. If you have like strawberry leg, it'll actually be really good for that. And I used it a few times and I liked it. You don't want to use it a lot because it's a chemical exfoliant. So I'm specifically looking for this one, I think. And it's $8.70, real real cheap real affordable so i heard this is supposed to be good for your underarms lightening your underarms so i think i'm gonna grab this one i don't have my phone with me but i think this is the one glycolic acid toning solution that was the only ordinary product that i was looking for so but we got some good stuff so excited So I just left um, Ulta, now I'm walking over to Ross because it's literally right here. It feels good out here though because this coat is heavy. Hopefully we can find some good products in Ross. Let's see what they got. I don't know the last time I've been to Ross, honestly. Oh, this is Bath and Body Care right here. So, let's see what they got. St. Ives Coconut and Orchard Body Lotion. This is Dove's Ritual Body Wash, Avocado Oil, Calendula Extract. Let's smell this. That smells really good. So this is the one right here. I actually have never seen a bottle like this, but let's see how much it is. $7? Nah. Dove Replenishing Ritual Body Lotion. I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about this. Shower power. So it's coconut oil, sensitive formula, coconut oil. Works while you shower. I kind of want to try this. I think I'm going to get this. Let's see how much it is. Well, it's only four bucks. Yeah, I think I'm going to try this for my legs because like I told y'all, like I told y'all, I don't see myself really needing to wax my legs because my hair is not really that coarse. So I think I'm going to try that out. Ooh, they have a dry brush. But I think I already have a drop brush, so I'm not gonna get this. The line is just way too long here, so I think I'm just gonna go to TJ Maxx and hope that they line ain't long. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you. But yeah, y'all, that line was way too long and I definitely wasn't standing in that line. We are in TJ Maxx and it definitely looks way more organized in here so definitely excited about that um oh look y'all they have this and I literally just bought that for eight dollars and some change no I bought this for ten dollars see this is why y'all need to come to TJ Maxx and Marshalls before y'all go to Target because this exact one was like ten dollars and some change at Target and it's seven dollars. 
Oh, one of my YouTube girls was, um, she picked this up last time. And she was saying that, you know, you just get a lot for your money, which is $7 and it's a pretty decent sized bottle. I forget if she said that she liked it or not though. This big old thing is $11. Mm. Bubbly, this is by Philosophy. So it's shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. So it's a three in one. They also have some candy cane, uh-oh. Candy cane body wash, this is first aid beauty. Ooh, daiquiri, passion fruit, shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I wonder how this smells. Oh, you can't smell it, but that looks cute. Don't quit your day dream. <laughs> That's cute. So I just got back from the store. As y'all seen, I went to Target or to TJ Maxx, and I did actually end up going to Sephora, but I did not take y'all along with me. I'm gonna share with y'all what I got. I guess we will go in order of the places that I went to. Oh, I also went to Ross, but I did not get anything. I also didn't get anything at TJ Maxx because the line was just way too long. So I was like, I'm not sitting in that line, but I did find some really good stuff in there. So I think I'm gonna go back. I'll probably go in the morning time, like very early when it first opened. So that way, hopefully the line is not as long. So just to start, I picked up some of these cotton swabs because I did need them. You know, nothing major. So I picked up those. I got this Thayer's Natural Remedy Witch Hazel. This is the rose petal one and it is alcohol free. As y'all seen earlier, I did find this exact one in TJ Maxx for $7 and this one was $10 at Target. So if you are looking for this Witch Hazel, definitely go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx first before you go to Target. I picked up that. Um, I did also pick up this 24 hour moisture body lotion by EOS. I have heard um, some really, really good things about this lotion, so I did want to pick it up. It claims to be fast absorbent, lightweight, soft skin, sustainable. Yeah, I did not smell this in the store though, which I should have. Like, I probably should stop buying stuff before I smell it, but. Um, it doesn't stink, it doesn't stink, but it is very sweet. It does not have a fresh smell to it whatsoever, which is, something that I tend to go for, but honestly, when I put it on my hands and I rub it in, the smell of it does tone down. It feels really, really good though. It's very moisturizing. I'm not greasy at all, but it does give me a little bit of sheen. I don't know if I can take that back. Well, maybe I can give it like to my little cousins or something like that. Um, so if you do want to pick it up, if you like sweet scents or um, vanilla scents, you'll probably really like this, but I'm just not a fan. But I did also pick up this Berry Balance Body Wash by Method. This is how it looks, it's the purple one. It is so cute. I love the packaging and it smells so good. It smells clean and fresh. I like Method anyway because these body washes are plant-based. Bottle is made with recyclable materials. So if you are you know, into that type of thing, this would be perfect and it just smells so good and so fresh. Now I did hear that the scent does not last as long. I don't know, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna give it a try, but I wanted to pick that up. I wanted to get something new, so I had to get that. So since my last haul, since I first got the dry sprays, I have just totally been obsessed with them. This one is the Nourishing Beauty Dove Dry Spray. Um, I would definitely recommend this one over the original clean scent. It smells so good. It does almost give me the same scent as the fresh deodorant. When you put on those dry sprays, it just makes you feel like you don't have anything on, but it still moisturizes under your arms at the same time. But I really, really love these and they linger for a very, very long time. Like I spray them on and I'm like, dang, like it still smell like this deodorant. I still smell good. Like. It just really does linger. But the next thing I picked up was this body polish. Y'all know I rave about the Dove body polishes. I will never stop using them. Um, but this is a crushed almond and mango butter. If you guys watched my last haul, um, which if you have not checked that out, um, I will link it down below and up in the eye. So make sure that y'all check that out. I did pick up the almond and mango butter bubble bath and it smells so, so good. But it, this pretty much smells the exact same. 
I feel like Dove does a really good job with capturing that fresh scent, but also incorporating those sweet kind of smells like mango. I think it'll be perfect with my raw sugar mango bar. Um, so I'm gonna try those out together. I may actually do a full mango body routine um, or a shower routine. So if y'all wanna see something like that, definitely give this video a big old thumbs up. And then the last thing that I picked up from Target was this Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap right here. And this is the bar soap. I just wanted to pick up a um, bar soap to try it out and see how it does. But it smells so good. I mean, it just smells just like peppermint. If you have tried this, let me know um, down below. That's that. That was all from Target. So I'm gonna move on to Ulta now. Um, I actually found some really, really good tree hut scrubs when I went into Ulta. But that's pretty much all that I got from Ulta. So somebody recommended that I try the watermelon sugar scrub. This is it. And it has like little black beads in it. So it actually looks like a watermelon. So cute. I didn't smell this one in the store, but I did kind of smell it through the packaging almost. So I was able to kind of get a good idea of what this would smell like. It smells just like a watermelon. This almost makes my mouth water because it smells just like a watermelon, like a sweet watermelon. Um, I did also pick up the uh, vitamin C sugar scrub. Somebody also recommended this to me and it's actually supposed to reveal brighter looking skin. So I'm definitely excited to try this one out, but this is how it looks right here. This smells like something I would wash my clothes in, honestly, like this smells like just a fresh laundry detergent. And then the last scrub that I got was this Margarita Citron, but real cute. It's a green scrub. I mean, it definitely smells like a margarita, like <laughs> with sugar on the rim. That's what this smells like. So love that. And I think this would be perfect for summertime. So I'm probably going to put this, I'm probably going to tuck this away for the summertime because I think this would just be the perfect thing. I did also pick up this um, Ordinary Glyconic Acid in Toning Solution. Now, I actually seen on Pinterest that this is supposed to help lighten your underarms. I don't know how true that is, but I am going to try it out. That's pretty much the main reason that I got this. So I'm gonna try it out under my arms and let y'all know how it goes. I may actually use it for my face too, um, cause that's what it's made for, but yeah, I got that. Like the Ordinary brand is not expensive whatsoever. Got another product. I guess this is a good transition over to Sephora, but I actually picked up another product from the Ordinary brand. I got this AHA BHA peeling solution. So it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. It's basically what this is. It has 30% AHA and 2% BHA. And the AHA and BHA is pretty similar to the glyconic acid. It actually helps to even out your skin tone and helps to improve texture skin too. So I picked this one up. I believe this one was only about $7, but this is how it looks. I did also get another exfoliant. Now this one does have a 2% BHA silic acid um, in it. And I'm sure that you guys have seen this everywhere. This is the Polish Choice Exfoliant and it just says it's good for all skin types. It unclogs and shrinks in large pores. It also claims to smooth and even skin tone. So I'm sure that all three of these products do similar things. Um, so I am excited to try this out. I've specifically picked this one up for my underarms because I did hear someone use this one on their underarms. I'll kind of see which one I like the best, but honestly, if the Ordinary does the same thing as this one, probably gonna stick to the Ordinary just because it's much, much cheaper. But this one was only $10. It's pretty small. They had a bigger one for like 30 bucks, but I was like, I might as well just get the smaller one and just try it out first, see how I like it. And then maybe I can go up to the larger size. So that is actually all that I picked up. I think I found some really, really good products. So if you guys have any more suggestions for me, leave it down below um, and let me know if you have tried out any of these products and how they did for you. So yeah, y'all, I hope this video is helpful. If it was, give it a big old thumbs up, leave a comment down below and do not forget to subscribe if you are not already ready and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me but y'all i will see y'all in my next video peace